I went on and I bought the Morphe palette. And guess what? I like it. I said what I said. Period. I said what I said. Hey guys, it's Brie. Welcome back to my channel. As you can tell by the title, guess what we're doing? Another makeup review. Listen, I'm not gonna say anything about my no buy, low buy, whatever buy. Mm, I'm not gonna say anything else about it because clearly I have fallen off the wagon. I'm back to buying makeup. And my excuse is that I'm buying makeup to show you guys, okay? We're just gonna leave it at that. So everything that I'm doing right now, it's for you, okay? Totally lying, totally lying. It's not for them, it's for me. <laughs> I picked up the new Jaclyn Hill palette, the volume two. Did I need this palette? Yeah, I, I did, I needed it, I needed it. I mean, get into these colors, these colors are really pretty. There is one thing about this palette that I'm like, eh, eh. I feel like there's a lot of shades in this palette that are repeated. We got some nice purples at the bottom, we got some burgundies, some neutrals, some oranges and some yellows, yada, yada, yada. But if you look closely at this palette, like get up in here real close. Mm -hmm. Several of these shades, like one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. The colors are too close for them to all be in the same palette. So I kind of feel like there's some wasted shadows in here. A good eight to 10 of these eyeshadows in this palette were unnecessary and could have been filled with other shades. They just released this in Ulta store. So you guys are going to be able to go in store and pick this up. I think picking up stuff in store is way better than buying online because you actually get to touch the formula. You get to see it in person, look at it before you actually spend your money. This palette was $39, but I used my Ulta $3.50 off and I got it for a little discount. Before we continue, let's talk about it. I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys feel some kind of way about Jaclyn Hill. I do think that Jaclyn Hill has a bit of a shady past. Some of the things that have happened with her, her makeup, her brand, it's a little, it's a little shady. But you know what? I'm just here for the makeup. I could care less about what she's doing with her hairy lipsticks. If you don't like something, just don't buy it. I'm not that invested in these people. I'm not that invested in these makeup brands to really be shouting on the internet about who I'm canceling, okay? Because if that was the case, there would be a whole lot of makeup brands that we had to cancel. Some of your favorite brands just became inclusive, so remember that, okay? When you start dragging people on the internet, there's racist makeup owners, there's makeup owners that are not inclusive at all, and then there's Jaclyn Hill. What's worse, you know? For those people that I do see complaining, you guys should redirect that energy to people that need it. I'm sure you guys want to get on with this video already and see how I created this look. So before we continue, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, turn on your notification bell, okay? Because we're not going to play me, we're not going to play you, you're just going to join the family, okay? And everything will be cool. All right, are you subscribed yet? Good. Let's get on to the next clip. To start this look, I'm going to go in with this bright yellow shade right here called No Joke. And as you guys can see, I only have primer like on my lid and in the transition area. I only have concealer right under my brow, so I'm curious to see how this yellow eyeshadow lays right on top of my concealer, because I want it to be right in this area. This palette needs a mirror. It would be a lot easier for me to do my job. It looks pretty pigmented on my lid. I feel like sometimes shades that are this bright kind of have a hard time showing up on brown skin. So I'm pressing this in first, and then I'm gonna use sweeping motions to blend it out. I'm not mad at this yellow shade. I'm really not mad at this at all, but you can definitely tell that it's brighter in the areas where I have the primer, and it's definitely not as bright where I have my concealer. Now I'm gonna go in with this bright orange shade called Feeling Myself. It's 
So far, I feel like these are blending out really nice. No problems. I don't really need another orange shade, but I'm gonna try to use as many shades as possible. Now I'm gonna go in with this orange shade here. I don't feel like my camera's picking it up as well. I'm gonna use this shade called My Man. This shade is a little bit more on the like corally orange side. But I really wanna start building up the intensity. The color that you see in the pan is exactly what you see on the eyes. Look how vibrant these colors are showing up. I wanna go in with this pinky shade here. It's a really vivid pink called Hard On. There's so much pigment on this brush. I mean like, this is pigmented. shade hard on, but I'm focusing it on the inner corner. I'm gonna use the shade Dance Party, and then right after I'm gonna use this deeper shade called Crazy. using the deeper shade called Crazy. So far, this is the gradient that I have going on. And I think these matte shades are layering really, really well. I have zero complaints. None of them are patchy on me and they're all blending out really easily, so. Now I'm gonna take this shade called I'm In It. I've seen everybody using this color, but I wanna see for myself, how good is this shade? I wanna do like a slight cut crease. Ooh, okay. I'm not sure if this is supposed to be a topper shade, but it's very, very sheer. So it's definitely like good for inner corner and stuff, but it seems more like a topper to me. Really pretty color, but it's not as intense as I want it to be. It looks white in the pan, but it's going on as like a really nice, pretty pink iridescent topper. I love this look. I'm gonna use this red shade called Empowered. I'm gonna apply this shade right here in the center of my lid. This shade is not giving me the pigment I thought it was gonna give me. I'm gonna try my finger. There, that's better. I still thought the shade was gonna be a little bit more pigmented. I like the shade, but the color payoff could have been a little bit better on the shade. deepen up this outer corner just a little bit. So I'm gonna go back into that deep purple shade called Crazy. I'm gonna 
go ahead and do my foundation and my bronzer and then I'm gonna come right back. So I left my under eye setting powder on because I'm gonna go in and do the lower lash line now. Guys, I'm so in love with this look right now. I'm in love. Under the eye, I'm gonna go in with the shade My Man. I'm gonna use the shade Hard On. I'm gonna use this dark purple called Good Place. Purple shade went on really nicely on the lower lash line. No problems with that, looking cute. Now I'm gonna use the Fenty Fly Pencil and this is in the shade Cute Ting. By the way, these fly pencils are really nice. The consistency on these is like A1, but this ain't a Fenty video, so let me shut up. This is where things are probably gonna take a little turn. I really wanna do eyeliner with this look, but I don't wanna do black eyeliner. So I'm gonna use my Fenty Stunna Lip Paint, and this is in the shade Underdog. I'm gonna use this to do a nice, thick wing. And hopefully this doesn't ruin the look, cause I'm really feeling this. And this could be, this could be a mess. real lucky on the first eye, I'm gonna do the next eye off camera. So I added some lashes. I added the Velour Worst Behavior Lashes. If I had another set of lashes with me, I think I would have done a smaller lash because I do think that these lashes kind of take away from the look. Like you can't really see the wing behind these big lashes, so. But this is all I had, so. For my lips, I'm gonna go ahead and use, huh, what color is this? I'm gonna use my NYX Brown Lip Liner. And now I'm gonna go in with my Artist Couture Lip Gloss in the shade Uncensored 2.0. I'm using my chocolate chip cookie dough from iHeart Revolution. Now I'm gonna use my Morphe Luminous Setting Spray. You guys already know how I feel about this. If you haven't seen my video on the setting spray, then you are tripping. You got me straight tripping, boo. You need to check this out. Ooh, I forgot highlight. Okay, no, mm -mm, we're not done. We're not done. Now I'm gonna use the palette and I'm gonna use this shade called I'm In It. I'm gonna use that as a cheek highlighter because Jacqueline said you could. So we're gonna go ahead and do that very, very lightly. have highlighters that look like this already, so this is not something that I would do all the time, but I'm just showing you guys that you can use it if you haven't already seen a million other people do this. <laughs> and I've seen people with pale skin 
uh, do this as well. So it looks good on pale skin and brown skin. So it's cute, it's cute or whatever. Now, let's get into our final thoughts. There's a good amount of shimmer shades, a good amount of matte shades in this palette. What I do think about this palette is that the matte shades outperform the shimmer shades, but I've only used a few of the shimmer shades. I think I used three of them, and I used more of the matte shades today, but from what I can tell, the matte shades were slaying. I've noticed that Morphe's shimmers are not always the best, so I feel like there's some inconsistencies in Morphe's shimmer shades, but their matte shades are usually very easy to blend, and that's what what I got today. Do I think this palette is dupable? I don't know. I don't have a palette that looks like this, so this is gonna fit in my makeup collection really well. I know Morphe is like a really touchy topic for some people. Some people really don't like buying Morphe. Some people are all about it. Same with Jaclyn Hill. Some people just really don't wanna support her. That's your business. So I completely understand if y'all are not gonna pick up this palette because of who's attached to it and who's affiliated, but for me, I really enjoyed this palette today. I'm a big fan of it. I love the color story. I thought everything was just so, it's just so pretty. I mean, look at this. Look at it. Are you picking up what I'm putting down? I don't have anything negative to say about it. So if you guys were coming here thinking you were gonna get some tea, it ain't gonna happen. It ain't gonna happen. That wraps up today's video. I hope you guys really like this eyeshadow tutorial. You guys can probably find some dupes for these eyeshadows, so if you decide to follow this look, I'm pretty sure you could put it together using any eyeshadow that's already in your collection. But make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Don't walk up out of here without subscribing, okay? Because I will find you. And I will see you guys in the next video.